New PS5 system software update is available to download right now. But should you download it? I have all of the details on this new system software update for you guys coming up. And whether or not you want to decide to download and install this brand new update. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're talking about the PS5 system software update version 23.01-07.60.00 PlayStation, why do you have to make these versions so long? Like, you could have just shortened it up. Like, you know, I like the PS4 uh, system software updates because it's 10.00 five zero like that's easy you got a big old long sequence of numbers for that anyways enough of that rant uh new system software update is available to download right now again um you're gonna have to watch until the entire end so that way you hear all of the details on this new system software update and whether or not you should download it uh but first let's go into settings and you could do this on your PS5. That's why I'm showing it to you. Just in case, you know, you're not sure where to go. System, settings, and then go to system. And then system software, system software update and settings. Go here. And as you can see, my system's already up to date. Now, something weird happened with this PS5 that I have right here. It downloaded and installed automatically. Even though, as you can see, I have... Both of these turned off, so it shouldn't have downloaded and it shouldn't have installed without asking me first. Now, my other PS5, I chose to do the download and update, and it gave me that option. This one, for whatever reason, it just did it automatically, and now it's updated. Um, now, I do want to actually bring you over really quickly uh, to... PlayStation's official website. So this is Sony and PlayStation's official website. Um, the latest system software update uh, for the PS5. It was literally released today. So uh, as you can see here, 7-20-2023, the day that I'm recording this video, is the day that they dropped the new system software update. Now, the version that I mentioned, this system software update improves system performance. Now, with that being said, that's literally all PlayStation mentions. I wanted to show you their official website so that way you can see for yourself that there is not much to this update. Some people will say, you know, it's probably because hackers are trying to get into the PS5. If it was that case, then it would be a mandatory update. Um, but from what I've heard from all of my other friends, they haven't had any issues not updating their PS5 and still playing their games and still watching you know whatever apps and tv shows and movies that they want to watch on their ps5 now if you have had problems with your playstation 5 especially with the previous update you might want to try this update because hopefully it will fix the problems that you have but if you don't have any issues whatsoever i honestly would say right now it's optional if you don't have any issues with your ps5 just wait wait until they make you do an update this is not an important update um you don't need to do the update in order to play any of the games or you know if you go into your media side of things if you want to listen to music or watch whatever you want uh you won't have any problems because it's not a mandatory update yet I don't know what's going on. It was a little fishy that this PS5 updated automatically, which is really weird. Um, but, you know, it happens sometimes. Uh, I've had it happen on the PS4 where it's an optional update. And then all of a sudden, my PS4 just updated on its own. Um, so maybe, maybe this PS5 has got a mind of its own. Doesn't it look huge? <laughs> Anyways, it, again, I just want to emphasize if you haven't done the update and you don't have any issues with your PS5, I honestly wouldn't stress about it. I would just leave it alone. And when they come out with an update um, that actually adds something to the system, then I would say definitely go for it. Um, but if you are currently having issues with your PS5, 
um, my PS5, this one that I have here, um, it would just disconnect from the internet randomly. And I get it connected with the LAN cable. I have really good internet. Um, and I'll be playing like a multiplayer game. I'll be playing like uh, Borderlands. I'll be playing, um, you know, a bunch of other other games as well. Um, and it would just kick me from the game. Um, and it was super frustrating. And that's one of the issues that I was having with this one was like network connectivity. Uh, and what is really weird is I switched this one um, from my bedroom to here because I was having issues with uh, with this one in my bedroom. Uh, and I switched it to here and I, I'm still having the same issue. So with this new update, uh, I've played a few games of Overwatch 2, haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how this all folds out. Uh, I will give you guys an update if there is any issues with this new PS5 system software update. Um, I, again, I haven't had any issues, but if you want to just wait, by all means do so. It is optional, unless something weird happens and your PS5 updates automatically as well. Uh, and if it does update automatically, even though you have everything turned off, let me know in those comments down below. And let me know if you're going to be downloading the new system software update or not. Please make sure to hit a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome. Oh, yeah.